we're in the middle of the Oak Ridges Marine Natural Core Area. We got a lovely environment here and it's providing a green space around the city where people from the city can enjoy the natural environment. We've been here 30 years. We've uh, raised our family, two children, and uh, we love to live on the marine. We love to play on the marine. It's a, it's a wonderful place, and for that, that reason right there, we want to preserve the marine. The Oak Ridges Marine is all about its water resources. It supplies drinking water to more than 250,000 people on the Oak Ridges Marine and millions more in the greater Toronto area. Many people ask me why we're fighting to protect the moraine again. The truth is the Oak Ridges Moraine is not protected the way that it should be. The moraine's like a big sponge. It essentially takes water and cleans it and keeps it there, there for generations uh, to be used. A commercial fill operation just started up where they were dumping contaminated soil and it gets dumped right on top of the moraine. What it means is that any contaminants will go right into the aquifer and potentially contaminate the drinking water. I, I get very worried about um, incremental damage to the moraine. There are a lot of infrastructure projects that are trying to apply, uh, trying to put sewers in, hydro corridors, and when you add up all of these things, what it does is facilitate development on the moraine. And why should we develop it? You know, there's lots of flat land around to put houses on, lots of flat land around to build roads on. We should stay off it, leave it alone. People thought that the Oak Ridges Marine was being protected against new houses being built in its green spaces. But plans for golf courses, subdivisions that were started before the Oak Ridges Marine Conservation Plan came in can proceed. A marine well was to be exploited to service a brand new development 12 miles away from the edge of the Oak Ridges Marine. 12 miles of pipe, so not only the assault of that water taking, but then all of this green field being carved up to ship water. What this means is a crisscrossing of highways, power lines, and water pipes. Road kills are having a huge toll on turtle populations. And because they're such slow moving creatures, they don't stand a chance when there's a truck or a car heading towards them down the highway. But the region is, is attempting to build several roads through it to make connections to Highway 400, which, which will do tremendous damage. The 400's already done tremendous damage, but even though it's going to be widened, the damage has been done. Basically, our concern is that 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, these applications and uh, developments can still go forward, and we don't know what type of impact they may have on the health of the Oak Ridges Marine in the future. And that's why it's very important to stop these incremental projects and to close some of the loopholes in the legislation that allow infrastructure to be built uh, without full and complete environmental assessments. Otherwise, we will see uh, creeping change. What is important is that the moraine is to be left as close as we can leave it to, to its natural state. This watershed extends all the way from Lake Ontario all the way up to the Oak Ridges Moraine. It matters to all of us. We have to get the Oak Ridges Moraine back into the public eye. Write to your MPP, write to the Premier, write to the leaders of the two opposition parties and ask them two simple questions. Will you and your party commit to closing the loopholes in the Oak Ridges Moraine legislation? And the second thing is, will your party commit to recapitalizing the Oak Ridges Moraine Foundation? It's by speaking up that we can stop the erosion of this incredibly important piece of Ontario. That is part of the solution to making sure that the Oak Ridges Moraine is protected forever.